Puerto Rico. It was a very easy trip, very quick. I read on the plane here. I got checked in and through security in Newark in less than 15 minutes. Part of that is because of clear, which I love having. My friend picked me up from the airport and now it's like 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I don't know, but I'm going to bed. Tomorrow we're going to Old San Juan. We're gonna chill, spend the day there. And yeah, so good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning, Sandy. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh, I look so Good morning. It is our first, well, my first morning. Then where's your outfit? Yeah, where's your hat? I don't care. We don't care. Here, we are heading to Old San Juan. It is slightly sprinkling right now, but just like a summer rain, the beach is right there. Fish croquetas with guava sauce. This is Christine. Hi guys. <laughs> and we just finished eating, and now we're just walking around, walking all the calories off so that we can eat again very, very soon. Get some piraguas, find some places on the beach. Get some piña colada. Yeah. <laughs> Go to this place in Old San Juan. They are locals, the store is incredible. Buy stuff, you won't regret it. So something so cool is they have these red lights all lining the beach here, and it's to help sea turtles, like baby sea turtles, not come towards the street, but go towards the water. So somehow the light pushes them to the water rather than over here. Fun fact with Brooklyn, new series. <laughs> Subscribe for more. We are in the car getting some Wendy's. I don't know what we're gonna get yet. They have coquito flavored Frosties, salted caramel flavored Frosties. They have croquetas. They have grullos. and uh, boneless buffalo wings, surprisingly. Like, I don't know if that's so surprising to me. So, yeah, I'm excited. I love trying fast food. If you have never done that, start doing it. My favorite McDonald's was Brazil, London, Germany. She said McDonald's in oh, Germany. Yes. The beer selection was top notch in Germany. It sucked, personally, I think in Rome. And Pizza Hut in Ghana was the same. Oh, look on the menu. Frosty. Made it to the beach, finally. I love to have books to match my surroundings. This man has been out here dancing. Round two. Good morning. I'm taking our little puppy 
for a walk. Say hi, Sandy. Hi. We're going to Culebra today, and last night we just stayed at um, our beach in Luquillo. We went to the kioscos last night and ate. Today's just another beach day. It's about a 30 minute drive from us and then a ferry to the island. And we're taking some coolers. And it's like a very small kind of beach island with like just a couple shacks or something. So I'm really excited to see it and just spend another day in the sun. Un café con leche y azúcar negra también. not even mine but it looks good these are the faces from two people who've been sitting here for like an hour ay, ay, ay. we think that that's our boat and it's been here for like 30 minutes but we've been sitting here we finally made it on the ferry and now we're on our way to Culebra with or say yes to the guys wanting to rent you golf carts. Flamenco is where we went, love it, not crowded at all. Kiosco's right like by the beach, the water is amazing, great empanadas. Um, there's a good coffee place right when you get off the boat if you need some iced coffee, pretty much the only iced coffee in Puerto Rico probably. <laughs> and this is really good. Um, but this place is beautiful. Highly recommend, a lot of people stay here and like get an Airbnb. So that's definitely something we're gonna do next time. We paid five dollars for the ferry from Sebas to Cunegra. So five bucks for the ferry. It's you have to do it. Successful day at Culebra. We're eating some food and waiting for the ferry to come, watching a beautiful smoky sunset about a 45 minute ride back to where we parked and then about a 30 minute ride back to the field. So it was a good day, we're exhausted. The sun was beautiful, the water was so warm. This was a great destination. So if you have the opportunity to come, go to Culebra, go to Flamenco, and then someday I wanna check out the other beaches as well. But it was great. Yes, consensus? Definitely. <laughs> we got a ferry upgrade. Table and food. Nice places. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we can eat our pizza. Morning walk. Exercise, even on vacation. Even if it's just a little walk. Even if you've walked a million miles like we did yesterday. A million. A million of them. Just walk one more. One more. Plus it's beautiful in the breeze. This is my last full day here. I leave tomorrow evening or late afternoon. My flight's at five, so I have to be there at three, so we're leaving at two. <laughs> and then I have a layover in DC for like an hour, and then I fly into Newark. So I'm relishing the last moments. Lunch today. Our house is literally over there. Got that open air. So lunch break and then probably hitting the beach. If you don't see Moana while you're at the beach, who are you though? So, you know? Can y'all see that crab? Oh, I see him, I see him. sushi spot that we're really excited to try. It was like five minutes from our house in Mukio, so we'll see what it looks like. So these are the Europa Vieja del Mar. These are incredible. And then over here, we have guava dumplings. So, bacalaito roll, which I love. I'm so excited for that. What is this one? 
This is criollo. This is the I forgot a recaito. Bodega, bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm just, I'm not ready. I'm not. And we are at the airport heading home. My flight is in a couple hours. Got here early. I found a cute little coffee spot right next to my gate and had a little corner to get some work done. Peanut butter latte. And yeah, I'm sad to be leaving the beautiful weather since it's like 30 degrees at home, but it is what it is. At least I got a week of the sun. Definitely going to be coming back. There's a lot of things on my list that I didn't get to do yet, so I can't wait for round two. Puerto Rico is a place to come back to again and again and again. <laughs>